While driving Interstate 70 across Utah's San Rafael Swell, the key feature on the road is the twin bridges spanning Eagle Canyon, an impressive engineering feat. A few miles north of the interstate, Eagle Canyon cuts a narrow slot through the Navajo layer of sandstone. It's so close to Interstate 70, yet hard to reach, involving a fair bit of physical effort and some rough dirt roads. Possibly the best access and loop hike is from the Moore Cut-Off Road, with an ascent of neighbouring Forgotten Canyon, then a descent of the technical section of Eagle Canyon. Mile 16.7 on the Moore Cut-Off Road. Three and a half miles from the Moore Cut-Off Road. Road was a lot rougher than we were expecting. Pretty easy navigation, just going northeast from the car to hit the rim of Eagle Canyon. Should make our way down here. We're looking to enter somewhere close to that crack on the far side. And we emerge down onto Slick Rock on a ridge with a natural table. The final cliff band is a very exposed traverse. We didn't think we could protect Ryan, so we're going to lower Ryan on the road. Only four or five minutes up Eagle Canyon. It is a junction. We're going to go left up the bottom of the canyon. No one has been into Forgotten Canyon since the last rain. We're the, the only footsteps in here. Chest deep pool there with what turned out to be an awkward climb out because of the silt on our shoes. And then continuing on, beautiful tall narrows. Not amazingly thin, but it's a lovely walk. Just looking back at that fifth class slab climb. It's not steep, but it's just so polished and slippery, especially when you've got silt on your shoes. These European shoes aren't good. I think Ryan's shoes are better than my European canyon shoes that were made for limestone, not sandstone. Hey, I climbed that back really fast, didn't I? Layers of ancient sand dunes in the Navajo. Hey, oh, about an hour from where we first came down to Eagle Canyon. We've come up through Forgotten and we're going to exit up here on the right, climb up and over back down into Eagle Canyon. If you have time before exiting Forgotten Canyon, you can make a 20 to 30 minute side trip to see a natural arch. Once onto the crest of the divide between Forgotten and Eagle Canyons, it's worth a short rest to admire the fantastic desert scenery. You can also spot passing trucks on I-70, which is a bit surreal. Uh, up and over. This is the drainage that we use to descend back to Eagle Canyon. Our side canyon has turned into a proper slot. Surprisingly, no anchors, so we've just done Blue Mountains Australia style and put the rope around a tree. Out of the side canyon into Eagle. Sand's nice and hard to walk on. About half a mile maybe down Eagle. It's a wide sandy gorge, beautiful. And the slot is just about to miraculously begin right now. And out of nowhere there is suddenly a narrow slot and there are pools of unknown depth in there. Well, the anchor for the first drop is a piton. There's a pool there that's more than knee deep. I didn't go in, I just climbed over the top. And there's a fixed rope gets us down the first rappel. Well, that's the bottom of the first rappel. I had to swim to begin with. I went ahead to check out the anchors for the next drops. Then I, when I went back, I managed to climb around the left on very muddy, slippery rock. And then we have a little dang climb where I'm just being lowered. Do you need me? You don't need me. Yeah, it's easy. <laughs> Too easy. Do you need me? No. Go on in. Okay. Here is the next drop, which is a rappel. Although well, I might be able to jump it. Mel will probably go off me. Might get a hook 
on the right you could probably put a sling around that little chop stone. Bigger drop behind which we can use that big log there. So Melissa repelled off me and I'm just going to jump down onto it. Well done. And we're standing on top of a log. We're going to go for the top log. I'll probably swim the pool and then we'll try and work out if we can get Ryan across dry or not. Oh, that was a swim. <laughs> a bit cold after my two swims. I'm going to be too hot <laughs> very soon. Beautiful Douglas fir tree there. There's an extra bonus slot here, which normally you'd be pretty happy about. <laughs> There's a number of waist deep pools through this bonus slot section. I'm falling in, into the sun again. Below the technical narrows of Eagle, walk down canyon to the junction with Forgotten Canyon to complete your loop. Then another 400 meters to exit and retrace your steps back to your car. We found the loop hike of Forgotten and Eagle Canyons to be a thoroughly enjoyable day. While the technical challenges are relatively short and not overly difficult, the remoteness and pristine wilderness were special. <laughs>